Hey Gemini, it's Chaos from Chaos and the Divine Feminine and uh, welcome to my channel. This is a new channel. I came over from TikTok and um, yeah, it was time to switch platforms. I'm still on TikTok, but I'm over here too now. So uh, let's get your reading started. This is going to be a general uh, timeless reading. I'm going to just start out timeless. I'm going to get to uh, making schedules and all of that good organized shit <laughs> here in the near future. Um, but for now, I'm just going to, I just need to get started. I keep getting pushed. Spirit keeps telling me to get started. So here I am. We're going to just wing it. We're going to do what we do. Welcome. You know? Yeah. Uh, I do cuss. I do smoke. All of the above. If I ain't for you, I ain't for you. It is what it is. Um, so, again, this is going to be a timeless reading. Um, this is my only channel. I have this channel. I have IG, which I will link in the description, and TikTok. So, the only way that you can reach me for private readings or personal readings is through my email, which is uh, chaosofthedivinefem at gmail.com. I'll link that in the description below. So let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. I am still uh, learning the cards. I have. I don't have all the cards completely memorized. So I have my little uh, diary here that I keep notes in. Just to remind me. But I do go off of energy like. I do see things. I have music playing here. Hopefully you can't hear it in the background so that, yeah, YouTube don't trip. But, um, yeah, I see images in my head. I might hear something. I might get a song in my head. I might hear a reference, a movie, just random shit, okay? Even when I'm channeling um, the music. A lot of times when I channel, the music reflects what the fuck I'm saying. Like, it, spirit be talking through the music, y'all. I'm so connected to music that, yeah, I can't sing or nothing. I sing, that don't stop me. I can't, but shit. I sing anyway, because it's my favorite thing to do. And I really wish I could sing. I really do. Maybe I'll manifest a voice one of these days. We'll see. Okay. Spirit. Ancestors. Ooh, I already got something. Wait, that's too many. Yeah, that's too many. Let's let's keep going. So I need a um, clear, accurate message for Gemini. Let me get. Hold on. The will of fortune popped out. Um, let me get. Let me just get a current energy. Current energy for Gemini, please. Let's start there. Current energy. The Hierophant. Good Lord. Hierophant, Justice. <coughs> the Emperor. The Hierophant, Justice, the Emperor. Current energy for Hoban. Damn, a whole bunch of cards keep coming out for y'all. What y'all got going on? Current energy for Gemini, please. Current energy for Gemini. The strength card. Are y'all dealing with a Leo? I hope none of my energy is coming out because before I started doing readings, I've been ready to manifest a man. And I said, I've never been with a Gemini. I heard that's, I'm a Leo. I heard that's Leo's perfect match. So I've been wanting to manifest me a Gemini. Or not been wanting to. Like, I, I just thought about that. Like, I need to get me a Gemini. Because you sure got a Leo coming out. <laughs> Maybe I got one on the way. You got the moon. Something that you don't see yet. Okay. You got all fucking major arcana. This is big. Y'all are going through some a big ass transition, a big 
shift. I I might be talking to somebody that's some of uh, my spiritual Gemini's, male or fem female, whatever. Whoever this is, this is somebody spiritual. This is a very spiritual Gemini that's on a spiritual journey. You got nothing but major arcana out here right now. You got the Hierophant, the Justice, the Emperor, the Strength, and the Moon. Nothing else. Straight major arcana. What y'all got going on? We finna find out. We finna find out. Okay. Where do we want to start? Let's 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 clarify the Hierophant, please, Spirit. Please, Spirit, clarify the hair. And I shuffled the fuck out of these cards, y'all. Like, while I was sitting here meditating, I shuffled all the cards. Like, just shuffled, shuffled, shuffled. I shuffled each of them at least eight, uh, five times. And then I shuffled them again. So, yo, what the fuck is going on? Hi, friend, please, Spirit. Let's see. Um, hold on. I want to see one note that I specifically wrote. I know I wrote a note. Okay. Okay. Um, so we got the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords. The Hierophant. Let me give me more for the Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant, please. The seven of, I mean the uh, nine of swords. Are y'all currently in? Somebody is currently in something, in in not something something like somebody is in a relationship. There is there is a there is an institution, a, a relationship, a family. One of y'all Gemini's is in a family, and you. You don't want to be here. Maybe you got, oh, ooh, I don't know if y'all got somebody pregnant. Maybe y'all was fucking with an ex and now there's, you feel like you're stuck. This is the nine of swords. You feel like you're stuck. This is a, um, so we got the justice card. So this is, this is a relationship that one of you Gemini's is stuck in with somebody. Well, you feel like you're stuck because there's a situation. This was a situation that you had that was further complicated for whatever reason whether somebody got pregnant something this was something that you was almost out of and then something came up and further complicated it clarify the moon Ace of Cups. Clarify the moon card, please. Here. Too many cards. Clarify the moon card, please. What's hidden, spirit? Did something flip? No. Oh, it didn't come out. Whatever. I didn't even see what it was. What's hidden? Clarify the moon card, please. 
whatever this is, it's gonna hurt. Okay, so I guess whatever. Okay, so whatever this relationship is that you don't want, which you don't see, is that when you do finally break free, it's gonna fuck you up for a while. Like you're gonna think you're ready to move on, which you are, and if you're if there's no love there, that's fine. If there's no love there and, and you feel like it's time for you to let this relationship go, because you, you never want to hold on to somebody and hold keep them from their blessings. You'll 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 build up a lot of karma holding on to people you're not supposed to hold on to, keeping them from their karmic lessons or keeping them from finding their blessings. So you don't want to do that. So it's far if if you feel like like you've had enough and this is it's time for you to move on, it's time for you to move on. It is going to hurt you. That's what you don't realize is once you finally move on, when you look back, that shit's going to cut deep. Because there's a history there, like whatever this is, like I said, this is a this is a family, this is a foundation that's that's falling apart. This is a foundation that is separating. So of course, there's gonna still be a ta emotional attachments. So no matter what, it is gonna hurt you. It's gonna hurt you. That's what you don't see. That's what you don't realize right now is once you move on, it is gonna hurt more than what you expected it to hurt. Which is fine, you know. It's all a process. We have to learn. Like our pain, pain always comes with a lesson. Okay, so you'll be fine. What is this strength card? Clarify the strength card, please. Spirit, clarify this strength card, please. Spirit. This didn't land on the strength card. This landed on the moon on top of everything else. It smacked down. This is the nine of wands. This is somebody that's guarded. You're going to be guarded afterwards. So yeah. You're gonna be, you're gonna be in your feelings for a little while, but this is supposed to happen, right? Now, this this reading is focusing on the cause and the end, the result, the end effect, because we got all this clarification on the on what 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 it is and what is. What, what you don't see. And then there's three cards, three art major, other major icon in the middle of the justice, the emperor and the strength. So I feel like the what you need most from this is what the action that you need to take and just to prepare yourself for the emotions that come with it is what I'm getting from this. It's time to let go and just take that time to heal. Can we clarify the justice card? The six of wands. Okay. So you're, yeah, you're going to complete this cycle. You're going to get through this. That's what the Six of Wands is. You're, you see that wreath right there? We'll do, just like the world card, that's the completion of something. You're moving past this cycle. Yeah, you're gonna get through it. This is a, that's exactly what this is. You're moving past this cycle. All right. 
that's all I have for you. I feel like that's it. Like, there's nothing else, really. Let me see if we'll clarify this Emperor card. Clarify the Emperor. The Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. You're going to have to just acknowledge your emotions. Don't try and bury the shit, okay? Don't let the grieve, okay? Grieve your relationship. Grieve the ending of your relationship. Move forward. Heal from it. That's the only way that you're going to move forward and be okay. You have to acknowledge your emotions. You have to acknowledge the hurt. You have to heal from it. You have to sit there. And not even, not even just that. What this really is, is you have to sit there and realize the lessons realize what realize your part in this Re don't just realize the faults and flaws and the other you have to realize your part in this S look at your relationship look at what didn't work what, look at what worked Re tr figure out what it is that you want out of a relationship what did you like what would you like to take from that relationship what would you not want what do you in in your future relationships what did you see and experience in this relationship that you do not want to move forward? Not only on their part, but on your part. What were your actions? How did you react to certain things? So take that. Take Learn your lessons. Realize your flaws, okay? It's like creating a game plan. It's like creating an outline, you have to prepare for your next cycle. The best way to prepare when you, what, what do you do when you go on a trip? You some people like lists. You make a checklist. You make sure you have everything checked off. Don't forget your sunscreen. Don't forget your extra underwear. Don't forget an extra outfit just in case you don't know what you want to do. Make sure you have extra money. Make sure your lodging is taken care of. Make sure that when you go when you move on to your to your trip that you have the that fi you're financially prepared for it you're not going to be in some shit when you get back you when you go out there you don't have to worry about anything everything you have all your ducks in a row so take this take take this time to marinate and put a list together kind of formulate what it is that you expect what it is not e not even expect because expectations can be unrealistic. Not only that, but if you have too many expectations, you're going to be disappointed no matter what. So not even create expectations, just create boundaries. Boundaries, what you're willing to accept, what you're not willing to accept, what faults you need to fix in yourself. If you're impatient, do you, if not everybody moves on your speed. I'm a, a fast ass Leo. I don't, I'm very impatient. I don't ha I don't like waiting on people. I don't like waiting on people to realize how they feel about me i need you i need you to be there with me i need you you ready what you want and i realize i can't like not everybody's on my timeline i have to allow people their time and their space to get their mind right and think about what they want it's not always you you have to think about what you want and you have to take survey of, okay, this is what I want. Now, if I expect this out of my partner, can they expect the same out of me? If I expect this out of partner, my partner, what could they possibly expect out of me? Okay? So take this time, take inventory of your life, take inventory of your relationship, come to terms with your emotions, go on ahead and heal, don't do no rebound shit. Don't fuck somebody else up because you fucked up. Hurt people hurt people. What happens when you got two uh, two hurt motherfuckers get together? Let's not do all that, okay? That's just shit happen. Shit shit go fuck. Shit gets fucked up. Like no. Okay? So let's just take survey. Get get your emotions in check. Realize like it's 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 time to move on no matter what. If this relationship is no longer serving you, like I said, do not stop somebody else from receiving their blessings. Do not 
hold on to people that you're longer than you're supposed to because you will if if you might have been a karmic lesson for them they might have other karmic lessons they might have karma for how they handled you if somebody if somebody generated karma from how they dealt with you you have to move on and let if you hang on to them longer than you're supposed to you will start to that that karma will definitely fall on you that I'm I, look I've experienced it that karma will fall off on you now that doesn't mean that y'all might never ever be together okay sometimes people have you have to people are sent in your life to learn lessons they might hurt you you might hurt them either way y'all learn lessons y'all have to heal if y'all are meant to be together y'all will come back together if not y'all there's you have somebody out there for you okay it's time to heal. It's time to move on from this. It's time to allow both of y'all to find your blessings. Let's not hold people, each other, from our blessings any longer, okay? I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please like, comment, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what parts resonated with you. Let me know if I was dead on, if what, it, like, yeah, I want to know. I'm nosy. I'm a nosy bitch. Let me know. Okay. <laughs> so hit me up in the comments. Let me know what's up and I will see you soon. Okay.